Right edition, welcome, happy day. The word socialist is being used now all of the time. You know, every time you turn on television, there it is. And it's kind of interesting because it's a good thing. Because The interesting part is years ago, they called themselves a different name. It's like a hooker. She used to call herself that, and now she's worried about it. She calls herself an escort because uh, it sounds better, okay? Or a call girl, a sporting girl is better than a hooker. And socialists thought that that word sounded too hookerish, and so they were calling themselves progressive and different things. And they were liars and cheaters. They actually had liberal cards and conservative cards, and they were socialists. Today, the good news is, is, is that they've come out. <laughs> We're having a coming out party now. And that's a good thing because people are now looking at it and saying, what is a socialist? You know, explain that to me. Give me some detail. Describe it to me. And, and, and when the words come out, the description isn't nice. I mean, a socialist is, is, a, is a bad thing, uh, except for them. Because, you know, the definition, of course, of socialism is let's all be equal as long as I have more than you. You know, the Democrats like uh, Bernie Sanders, who, again, Democrat, that word is poor to use. It shouldn't be used at all. And, and other groups like him, they preach socialism. And, and what they need to do is to move to a country now that is a socialist country and then come back and practice what you preach, okay? Then it's okay, but you need to learn what it is because these people really don't know what it is. You can't practice in our country. We are not who you are. Go to a place that's like you think you are, and if it works, stay there. Don't come back. I, I know I've already said come back and practice what you preach. I just had a mind change. Stay there. That's even better. Go to Venezuela. Don't come back. I, I mean, if you did come back, I don't think you'd preach it. You're kind of like a fat guy preaching a diet. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So, because it doesn't work very good. Leave it alone. In the past two years, according to the C.D. Howe Institute in Canada, government green policies and regulatory delays have cost Canada and Canadians $100 billion. I mean, if you have somebody that works for you and, and they make so many mistakes and errors that it costs you a lot of money, you probably should fire them. And when you do fire them, don't give them a raise in the way out. Don't hug them. You should actually give them a, cuss, a couple of cuss words and blah, blah, blah. And don't let the door hit you. <laughs> I fired a guy one time and I was asked, I said, how are you going to fire him? Like, you know, it's emotional to fire somebody. I said, well, I don't know. I'm just going to go up to him and say, Frank, I don't know how we're going to manage around here without you, but we're going to start first thing tomorrow morning. That's what you got to do with these government people. Billions of dollars that they lose because they're dumb. They do a bad job. Bad, bad. Voters in the United Kingdom instructed the ruling class to leave the European Union. And the politicians won't do it. They can't figure out how to do it. What's so hard about that? You're supposed to leave the Union. Goodbye. See you later. Have a nice day. But they keep meeting, having meetings to decide when the next meeting is. It is so detailed, so complicated, nobody knows what they're doing. Good grief. I, it's really come to this, hasn't it? I mean, the stupidity is, is so overwhelming that we get defeated. We stand back and say, oh, take whatever you want from me. Leave me alone. Like, I just want to go to an island somewhere. By the way, I saw a woman the other day walking down the road. She had a shirt on that said, I am an island. She was obese. I felt like going up and tapping her on the shoulder and saying, actually, you're a country or a continent. Uh, just a little bit of diversion there, but that's a true story. Back to this island in the United Kingdom. It is so sad that government don't do what the people tell them to do. Five members of the Congressional Black Caucus. Okay, these are the Democrats that are mad at Trump. They're mad at everybody. And, and they, they just continue to be themselves every day. Recently, they took a trip to see Beyonce, Beyonce, blah, blah, and other stars perform in a concert in South Africa. It cost $60,000, 60 grand. They took a 60 grand. Blah, blah, blah. I can talk a lot about that. Socialism, that's what they are. The AGM for the CSSA, is that okay? What's your 10 and 4? Whole bunch of cold talk there. An AGM is the annual general meeting for the CC CSSA, which is a Canadian Shooting Sports Association, it's being held this year in Kelowna, British Columbia, May 10th and 11th at the Coast Capri Hotel. Y'all should come for dinner. It's $59.95. Call it 60 bucks, and you come and you have dinner. They have an auction. They have all kinds of fun things going on. I'm going to be there. I might even do the auction if Tony asked me to. Other years I have it. And one of them I'm going to go to belong 30. I'm going to sell guns and all kinds of other things. We're going to have great food, great fun. Come. Goodbye.